Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine your missing variable. In this case, we're looking for y. In this case, we're looking for x. When we have problems where y varies directly with x. Now, remember, when y varies directly with x, we're given in is our direct variation form. So what they're basically saying is y varies directly with x and y varies directly with x for both of those equations. So again, if you, the best thing to do is, since they both vary directly with x, their constants are going to be the same. But let's go ahead and write them in direct variation. So therefore, we can kind of see how to set this up. So both of these I can write in direct variation. Here, it's going to be 3 fourths equals k. I don't know what um, k is. And then times 1 half. And then over here, I don't know what y is. I don't know what k is. And then x equals 3. OK, now again, remember when they say they both y varies directly with x, that means their k is going, for both these problems, their k is going to be constant. So basically, what we need to do in both these cases is solve for k. Well, for this one, to solve, when I have 1 half times k, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal on both sides. When doing that, I get 6 over 4 equals k. I can reduce that down to 3 halves equals k. And then over here, I'll divide by 3. And I'm left with y over 3 is equal to k. Now again, remember that both y varies directly with x, so therefore their constants are the same. So I can set them equal to each other. Now, by setting them equal to each other, I can solve for y. To do that, I'll just multiply by 3 on both sides. That's going to solve for my y. 3 times 3 is going to be 9 divided by 2, which equals y. And there you go. So now I've solved for my y. In this case, you can do the same thing. Um, but the main, main thing I want you to understand is when you solve for um, y over x is equal to k. So therefore, basically k, which is the constant because both of these y varies for x, you can basically rewrite y, equals at y over x is equivalent to y over x and then solve for your missing variable. So in this case, I'm not going to go through the steps I did here. I'm just going to set up the proportion. So I'm going to say 5 thirds over 3 fourths is equal to 1 half over x. And this gets a lot of students going because it's like, whoa, what do I do when I have fractions over fractions? Well, you can use your inverse operations which we discussed before. We could also use the cross product. So if I'm going to apply the cross product here, which I think would probably be the best to use, I'm basically going to take the product of 3 fourths times 1 half and set it equal to 5 thirds times x. So I have 3 fourths times 1 half is equal to 5 thirds times x. Now, I just multiply fractions across, so that becomes 3 eighths equals 5 thirds x. Now again, how do you get rid of, when you have a variable multiplied by a fraction, how do you get rid of it? Well, you don't really get rid of it, but you can multiply it by its reciprocal, and that's going to make it 1. And then 1 times x would just be x. So therefore, I multiply my other side by its reciprocal, and what I get is 9 fourths, which equals x. And I look at that and I see, can I simplify that at all? And no, 3 does not go into 40. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be how you find for x and for y when y varies directly with x. Thanks. Hello.